Hello and welcome back to On the Workbench. Today we're taking a look at the Craftsman Home Improvement Project Calculator, item number 39749. This is a one-year warrantied product, not lifetime, and it's a battery-operated project calculator. So if you look on the back, and we look at how it's advertised, it's designed to hopefully simplify some calculations. I got this because it was on sale for about $12 compared to about $25 or $30 for what it normally retails for. And I just want to see how it compares to a basic trig calculator that I'm used to using. I've gotten somewhat concerned because there is no trig functions on here as far as I can tell. So I'm going to open this up here and you'll see what you get in the packaging. This is one of the things from the outset that I don't like about this is the fact that it is not solar powered. I'd prefer not to have anything else running on batteries, but I'm doing this for you guys. And so as we open this up, you can see we got our calculator here. It actually comes with a case here. Snaps shut. That's nice. Uh, looks like you just have to pull it open there. And you got a battery compartment here with a little screw on it. And this case does flip all the way around. And we also have tucked behind the calculator is a user's guide. That comes in its own plastic packaging. And let's just see if we're going too far. If we were to take the user's guide, nope, that doesn't really seem to close very well like that. But inside the cover here, there is a sticker that gives a quick reference guide for some functions. And there's this little silly sticker here we're going to peel off. And let's just go ahead and turn this on out of the box and make sure that it works. Yep, it works. All right, so I apologize for any glare. I'm going to try to keep that to a minimum. So let's just go through a couple little quick things here. So if we can we hit the red button here to clear the screen. And that gets us back to a zero. So we could start with, say, nine. Now let's give it some units. Let's say we want to call that feet. And then we can go three. inches and then we want to convert that into yards and that's 3.08 yards if we want to change that into meters 2.81 meters so we got some conversions back and forth there so we can handle fractions let's look at another set of fractions here let's go with uh, Let's say you're trying to figure out a bolt, and we want to look at a 15 sixteenth of an inch. Is that so we can put them in the fraction? Change it over to metric. Tells us that's 0 0.0238 meters. But if we want to change this into millimeters. We have to go times a thousand, so that'd be 23.8 millimeters by moving it the decimal place three places to the right to change the millimeters. Unfortunately, the metric function is limited only to meters for some reason. Okay, so you can see how we can do some conversions there. Go back and clear. Now, say for example, we've got. See, let's try to keep the glare down. Let's say we have, uh, we're getting nine, and I hit the yard button three times, and we've got nine cubic yards. I hit the convert key to go to gravel. That's going to weigh approximately 13 and a half tons. There's some average densities in here, so this is giving me some ballpark here. So nine cubic yards, about 13 and a half tons. Now, if we hit metric on there, that doesn't really, it just says 13 and a half. It doesn't really change that. We can't access for direct input tons or any other uh, unit of mass or weight. We also have the ability to look at, let's actually go to mulch. So if we've got nine cubic yards and we hit convert, convert is how we get to the white functions on here of mulch gets us about 121.5 bags of mulch. So we've got some ancillary functions to uh, access. Let's also play with if we've got 
let's go, we want to look at something that's 60 feet long, and we want to convert that into how many blocks, concrete blocks that would be. That would be about 45 concrete blocks convert into, if we did that in bricks, it would be 90 bricks wide. Let's go back and clear. And so now another thing that we could do, if we want to just look at some circular measurements, if we want to look at the area of a circle, and say the radius is 3, so we go 3, convert, hit the plus sign to square it, gets us our r squared, times, convert, store pi, gets us the area of a circle is 28.27 inches squared, but there is no units on this. And so accessing pi is on the store button, and the x squared is on the plus sign. It's a little bit, I don't know, I feel like it's less straightforward than that. The fact that this does not actually have trig functions on it, to me, almost might be a deal breaker when I'm trying to look at uh, missing sides. There's Pythagorean theorem that you could do with this, because you do have the square root function here, and the squared, or a squared plus b squared equals c squared however we want to phrase it, uh, we'd have to access it that way rather than just being able to look at the trig functions, but we can't back our way into an angle calculation. And so to me, that's kind of concerning, and I'll probably condemn this to just the, that's fascinating pile. When looking at the guide, that there was a second guide that was in Spanish. If you pull that aside, or you also have to hit the off button, which would be convert off, because this is battery powered and not solar. Again, another strike against it. We can kind of store it with the guide in it, and it'll snap shut. So you've got the instruction sheet that tells you how to use the rest of the functions with the calculator there, and then you can store it. I mean, the, the plastic honestly looks kind of chintzy. My regular TI calculator just seems much more durable than what this is. You know, but for 12 bucks. I'll hang on to it. I don't know how much use I'll get out of it. This might go in the pile of worthless tool purchases, but I don't know. It's fascinating, and maybe I'll find a use when I'm desperate looking for something. And uh, I mean, the fraction ability might actually be the best feature on this whole thing, more so than anything else. So just want to give you this little quick review and thoughts on this do-it-yourself project calculator. Hope you found this video useful and interesting, and have a great day. Bye.